Boy, uh, we had another first time winner and wait, we have two multiple time winners. Check it out on Post Tracker Flag. Hey everyone, Mike from LA1 here. Welcome to a special edition of Post Tracker Flag, the Talladega edition. I'll talk more about that. Let's get to the results. Um, let's first the Xfinity race. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is time now to talk. Here are your top ten for the AG Pro 300 at Talladega. And I should warn you, it's a it has this one is a rain out, so they're gonna be off the hook because this is the first rain shortened race of the season for all th uh, for NASCAR this season. In tenth place, the guy who raced for the Gout Brothers this past. This past Sunday, Harrison Burton. In ninth place, we have Matt Snyder. In seventh place, finally getting a rebound after a very slow start, Brandon Brown. In sixth place, he's picking up the form and picking up another hundred thousand dollars for the dash to ca dash for cash, Noah Gregson. And in fifth place, poof. Ryan Sieg or Sag or yeah, Eric, can you get this guy on the shit on out of the groove so we can get a pronunciation of that, please? Thank you. And in fourth place, it seems that now he's finally living up to his potential, or should I say, oh, now he's living up to his potential in the '98 Riley Herbst. And in and in third place, Eric Almer. I mean, not Eric Almer. Oops. <laughs> AJ Allmendinger, whoops, though I missed. And in second place, Austin Sendrick. And in first place, probably the most deserving, probably one of the more in a long time, the winner of the AG Pro 200, Jeb Burton. And he tried to do burnouts in the rain, which I never would have thought to do that. Overall, definitely a deserving victory, if there ever was one. Well, by deserving victories, I mean like my next to Matt Snyder and uh, Josh Berry. Speaking of which, let's see who are the others finished. Daniel Hemrick finished 12th. Finished 12th. Brett Moffat finished 17th. Natalie Decker? 24th. Why? <laughs> Justin Allgaier, 29th. Josh Berry, 31st. Annette, 32nd. And I'm going to say this right now. With Josh Berry's win, Michael Annette has to win in order to save his seat. I forgot to mention that in the last ep the Martinsville episode. Brandon Jones got into an accident. And Bailey Curry in the 74, overheated, and Jason Wynn in 13 got a suspension. So, technically, there wasn't a big one. There was no big one. And that's the same thing with the Cup Series. There was no big one. Uh, I guess Talladega in this, this weekend didn't live up to the nickname I gave it, the ultimate wild card. But that's not what they said any time. Let's get to the point standings. All right, point standings. In first place at 367, it is Austin Sendrick. In second place with 308, is Daniel Hemrick. In third place with 275, is Hemrick's teammate from George Joe Gibbs Racing, Harrison Burton. In fourth place with 270, the newest winner in the Xfinity Series, Jeb Burton. In fifth place, with one point behind him, is his up. In fifth place, one point behind him with 269, is his. Okay, what the hell's going on? Let's try this again. In fifth place, with one point behind him, 269, is Burton's teammate from College Racing. Justin Haley, there we go. Finally, we got that done. In sixth place with 257, AJ Allmendinger. In seventh place with at 239, it's Matt Myatt Snyder. 
in eighth place. In eighth place with 221 is the still free falling Jeremy Clements. In ninth place with 217, it is Justin Allgaier. And in tenth place, oh, it's a tie. Tie, ten, tie for ninth. And in tenth place, because of a, the win by, by Allgaier, it's Noah Gragson, also at 217. All right, now let's get to the Geico 500 at Talladega, which unlike the Xfinity race, this went the, the, the cup race went full distance. Ladies and gentlemen, here are your top 10 for the Geico 500 at Talladega. In 10th place, and two weeks in a row, uh, someone else other than Kevin Harvick got a top 10. It is California's own Cole Custer. In 9th place, Loveland. But give me the term Blaney Wright infringement, it's Brian Blaney. In 8th place, Pretty good day for this guy, the grandson of Richard Childress, Austin Dillon. In seventh, pl in seventh place, a really good day for RCR. For RCR, Tyler Reddick. And in sixth place, in the 16 car, it is Kras Gala. Don't talk to don't talk about him very much. And in fifth place, and now are we gonna see a surge for this guy? Matt De Benedetto. In fourth place, the the only consistent driver in Stuart Haas today, happy Kevin Harvick. And third place, man, if if someone keeps saying that driving on a super speedway is not a skill for NASCAR. This guy proved you wrong. In third place, Michael McDowell, your Daytona 500 champion. And in second place, boy, that crew chief change at the start of the season might have, it may have made him a really good threat for the title, William Byron. And in first place, wait, whoa, whoa. And in first place, your winner and the first team to sweep. All drivers had a win. Well, except for Cindric, but he's part time. It's the Michigan Wolverine, Brad Keselowski. All right, now let's talk about. Man, Keselowski has really good success at Talladega, so didn't I didn't actually count him out. Now let's talk about some of the other performers here. Chase Briscoe finished 11th, finally. Alfredo finished 12th. That is a surprise. Amarola, I just mentioned, finished 15th. So a top 15, not bad. Kyle Busch finished 18th. The guy who finished 19th, we're going to talk about him in just a minute. Corey LeJo... Oh. Corey. Man, he can't catch a break with his sponsors, doesn't he? Now he had a Fox Nation car. Which, unlike what happened in Indy, where he had the Trump car... At least he, the car was still in one piece, unfortunately for some people. But I'm guessing when it comes to sponsors, Corey LaJoy, NASCAR sponsors, Corey LaJoy has shit luck. Chase, El Chase Elliott finished 24th. Eric Jones had, an had a major incident. Alex Bowman had a DVP issue. Joey Logano had a... Got an, in into an accident, and Kyle Larson had an engine problem, which that really hurt. But let's talk about the big one, the big moment here, and I am really happy to say we had a first time stage winner. And what did I say? I called it. I said at the start of the season, after the during the Daytona Daytona 500 the Daytona Week video. I'm saying 2311 could be a threat for a stage win. I called it. And then once again, Mike Wheeler cost him a shot at a top 10 and he finished 19th. Like, really? 
seriously, was Mike Wheeler really the best crew chief available? I mean, this I swear, he's probably the Mojave or Ragunath than a crew chiefs. How many times is this, how many times is Wheeler going to screw Bubba out of a good finish? The guy can't strategize a good race to save his life. Jeez, man, I feel bad for Bubba, but still, that stage win is going to, definitely going to help 2311 Racing's development into a better team. Well, if they get rid of Wheeler. All right, now let's, let's not waste any time. Let's talk about the point standings. All right, let's talk about the point standings. In first place with 446, the only driver in 400 right now is Virginia's own Denny Hamlin. In second place, the only two-time winner on the season so far, for now, the Taz New Jersey Devil, Martin Truex Jr. with 359. In third place with... Just six points behind is the Connecticut sensation, Joey Logano. And in fourth place with 351, just two, measly two points, the Charlotte Checker, William Byron. And in, with 351, and in fifth place, the master of Blaney Wright infringement, Ryan Blaney with 346. And in 6th place with 318, your newest winner in the Cup Series for this season, the Michigan Wolverine, Brad Keselowski. And in 4th place, test 10 points behind at 308, Bakersfield Zone, Kevin Harvick. And in 8th place, just 2 points behind, your defending champion, Cup Series champion, Chase Elliott. And in ninth place with 300 points, Kyle Larson. And in 10th place, the man who won the Daytona World Course, Christopher Bell, at an even 280, just 20 points. Now, that's going to do it for you guys, but boy, this is going to be an interesting thing going on here. Join us next time, the next post checker flag, where I'll try and dissect the new Texas All Star format. Race of Texas, I'm not going to even bother trying because I'm going to get, you guys are going to get confused, I'm going to get confused. And coming up next, we're going to Kansas, home of arguably the most stupidest name for a race I have ever heard. Thanks for watching everyone, and I'll see you guys after the race in Kansas. At Kansas. Back here in the Mike Vermillion 1 studio, that is. I'm not going to Kansas. I gotta get ready for work. To go back to work now.